Hey, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California and we have a different video that I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be, it's on the 40-yard dash, which we've been obviously doing a lot of stuff on the 40-yard dash and, and one of the big things that, that I like to, to try to figure out is how can we provide just that much more value for you when it comes to the 40-yard the dash and I think we will we'll be able to do this for you here today. So what are these numbers here? So what these numbers are is you take the, and I'll go to the other side here, you take the, the height of an athlete, okay, so um, whatever, if, it, if he's six foot, then he, he's 72 inches, so the height in inches, and we just divide it by the transition time. So a lot of them it's like two point, you know, point two eight, point three zero, whatever the case may be. And you know, you get a number. And that number is, you know, depending on the guy, it, it falls in between these ranges pretty much. And and what I've I've started to look at is, okay, based off these num these numbers, what does it mean? Okay, and when we're looking at the 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 somebody that has a low um, number here and I don't really have a name for it because it's my own number that I created but if, if you're low if you're at 235 236 somewhere in there um, usually you have a, a higher contact time um, and it also means in my opinion that you're you're having a lot more power production and you have a little bit more of a risk of overuse and the idea is to be able to try to get into like a, a good range to me a good range is like somewhere between probably 245 and 265 or, or maybe 260 you know somewhere in there is a good range to be able to optimize your overall performance but there's a, an area where you could be you know in, in two different parts of it where you end up being more at risk for injury one of them is your how much power production you're, you're getting and that's just because you have a little bit, a little bit longer contact time um, in comparison to your height and tra transition in comparison again to all the other athletes right so um, looking at a, a bunch of guys that ran under under four or five, this is kind of where people fall on on the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is being over 270, and again, I don't really have a number or a name for what this number is. It's just that this algorithm height over transition time, and what that what that one is to me is it just somebody that in, in comparison to their height, their transition time is moving super super quickly. Right, and so they're they're going to have a little bit harder time slowing down. Right, they're going to have a little bit harder time stabilizing. They're going to have a little bit harder time controlling their body because they have an ability to move their legs so fast in comparison to their height. That's just an unnatural ability almost. And so you know, if you get too high into this, now I think you're also going to have a little bit higher injury risk. Um, Potential just because there's so much movement in comparison to the height in, in comparison to where people usually are on this spectrum and so um, th This is just the thought process now and again how you get this number is you just go with your height over your transition And, and you want to be able to get inside this range 245 to 265 and if you do that you should be at a very very high uh, performance level Okay, but if you're doing, if you're on, on one of the side or the other, or a lot of you guys would be, it's probably more here, where you have too much contact time, and you're just using a lot more power production, and not able to generate enough speed, or let enough fast twitch muscle, and so now you could be at a, a risk of um, injury because of your overuse and, and high power production in comparison to your ability to uh, achieve your speed. Also, you know, if you're into this, this area, now you're in a prime position to be able to increase your overall performance. And I know that this might seem a little bit of, of an advanced um, thought process here, but what the reason I wanted to do it is because if you can understand, you know, you can easily get your height your transition time. We, we give, give videos to be able to figure that out. And so if you could get this, now you can figure out, okay, where on the spectrum am I to then know where your training should be? You know, I, I know this is a, a, something that is very, very proprietary to us as you've been talking to the marketing guys about, you know, is this something that we should release? And I, I want to just because I, I want, you know, the people that are watching these videos, I really want you guys to succeed. I really want you guys to do a lot better. I really want you guys to be able to run where you're trying to run in your, in your 40 yard dash. So I'm doing this um, really because I care a lot about you and how well you're able to actually perform. And so, you know, getting yourself into this high um, performance number is going to be critical to make it so you can perform your 40 to the, the best of your ability. Again, what this number is, is your height in inches over your transition time. So figure out where you're at and be able to start working on, okay, am, am my legs moving too fast here, where now you're going to be up over 270, or am I spending too much time on the ground and you having too much power, and now you need to be able to just make your, your legs move faster, which is going to be in this perfect little um, 
gap there. All right. So as always, guys, check out our 40-yard dash program. I think it's going to be able to provide a lot of value for you guys. This will just put it to the, to the next level once you're in our actual program. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. We're happy to answer any question for you. And we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you can subscribe down below. And that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.